afternoon and welcome. Let me start by saying comments below are encouraged and welcomed. I will do my best to answer them either in the description or on my next whip and chat. Um, if you like what you, you see when you're here, please subscribe and like the video and hit that notification bell if you want to know when I'm going to be jabbering on again. Today we have some friend mail. Two of my lovely friends, the twins, Debbie and Judy, um, said they felt wanted to treat me and I felt ever so humbled and appreciative and this parcel that has arrived is from Debbie from Debbie Gets Crafty um, and I believe there's another one on the way from Judy from All Fired Up Crafts so let me start by saying thank you very much ladies you didn't need to and I am so very very humbled and Debbie I'm gonna spank you but you might like that anyway Without any further ado, let's see what this lovely, lovely lady has brought me. Let's have a feel and see what we've got. Ooh, this one's interesting. Oh, look at those. They're not only diamond paintings, but they're stags. Um, now anybody that knows me knows I'm pagan so this is a double whammy for me because it has the stag on it and I mean you have a gold a silver a bronze and I would call that a hmm what colour would you call that it's like a blacky silver a dark silver or a light black but they're absolutely gorgeous and this one is like bronze or rose gold so I will take it out and have a look rather than take them all out we'll have a look at this one and see what it's like oh they are so lightweight but I mean look at the detail on that it has a single placer. Hang on, let me try and get it in. There, it has a single placer on the end. And it's filled with drill beads. Clear drill beads. Oh, Debbie. I really am going to spank you now, dear. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know me so well. So, there are those. There are four of them. And I believe this is all available on Amazon. What else is in here? Oh, is that it? Yeah. I'll give that to my assistant. He can double check I haven't left anything. Oh, I had this on my wish list for the longest time. I had this on my wish list for the longest time. It's okay, my assistant interrupted me. I do apologise. It is a 30 by 40 and again it's along the pagan theme because the moon means a lot to us and it says stay wild moon child so let's open this up and have a look shall we Try not to stick the paper to it. I do like that a lot of the diamond painting firms now are folding the diamond paintings in half. Yes, it gives you a crease, but if you hang it up or you flatten it, that crease will drop out. And it's not as hard to get rid of as when you're having to roll them back and forth. There are 26 colours. And it's a mixture of numbers and letters with none of those horrid symbols. I don't know if you can see how beautiful that is. But that is absolutely gorgeous. The symbols look really clear. The only one I consider might be a problem with is the number one. Although the number one is written in white... 
Although the number one is written in white, it's on a dark green. And I personally, even with my glasses, sometimes struggle. You may also struggle a little bit with the Y. Because that's a white Y, but it's on like a teal colour. I don't know if I can show you, but I will try. Here is your number one. And here is your letter Y. But apart from that, the drill field is really clear. And the actual canvas has sparkles in it. And yeah, I would say that's sticky. That's just one finger. And I'm well and truly stuck to that. So I would definitely say that's sticky. I really wish you could see the sparkle on this canvas. But it's just not showing up on camera. They have taped the, the, the free kit and the drills together. It is a bog standard kit. You get your two pieces of wax, some baggies, a green belt, a squishy and a pen with a single placer. And I think that may be a three or a four placer, but it's one of the wider ones. So I shan't be using that. I'm not going to take all the drills out because I don't intend to keep this up yet and I don't want to lose it. But... It doesn't have the DMC numbers on the bags. It just has the canvas code and the numerical numbers like 1 to 26. But on a whole, the tools look okay. And the, there is a few that have got other colours mixed in, but not many. And they don't look static because they're moving around quite freely. And they're not clumped together, so I don't think they're sticky ones either. But on a whole, they look really, really good quality drills. So I am well pleased with that and will give that to my trusting assistant, also known as my son, to put that back into my bag for me, if I can get it off the sticky pad. And I will also ask him to put those pens safe so that I don't lose them. So again, Debbie, thank you very, very much. I really do appreciate it more than I can express. Recently, I was asked, how can I hang a diamond painting if I don't have a frame and I don't want to use pins? Well, my husband saw these and has got me these to try. And what they are, they're command hooks. But they're Velcro. So they work pretty much like the other command strips you stick one on your frame or your picture or whatever and one on the wall. But because they're Velcro, it's going to make it a lot easier to put up your diamond paintings and remove them. And I don't think the drills will make it too heavy for them. He got the large and the medium size. This is your large. And this is your medium. I will put them together so you can see the difference. And as I said, they're just Velcro. So you'll put one on the back of your diamond painting and one on the wall. I would suggest one in each corner of the diamond painting. I will let you know where we get on with those. And if we have any issues. But I just wanted to show you them because there was a lot of people who... Due to circumstances, either couldn't locate or couldn't afford frames and didn't want to be putting pins in their diamond painting that they'd worked on for days, weeks or months. Didn't want to go and put a hole in it, which is quite understandable. Um, so we're looking for an alternative and this looks like it might be a good alternative. And with that... Again, thank you, Debbie. I really appreciate it. I will list hers and Judy's channels below. I will be doing a whip and chat soon, so please leave your comments below. I promise I will read and answer them all. And with that, peace, love and harmony.